the shape of the chair is, is how we make uh, the most interesting and attractive tube profile for the legs. Right? When we started to talk to Tom Dixon about making this chair, we thought that we should document it because this is a good story about uh, many things. It's a story about aluminium, but it's also a story about working together. What can happen when, when experts come together and unite through a common project? The whole purpose of this meeting is trying to understand the, 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 the limitations and the opportunities in the aluminium and modifying the ideas to suit the realities of production, right? The trick isn't the designing, it's the product development. It short circuits a lot of the debate and discussion and fantasies if you're in with the engineers and the people that know about manufacturing at the beginning. My experience working with uh, Tom and Stephanie has been really positive. It is interesting to see how our world can meet their world. I think it's very important that different industries meet each other and by exchanging ideas we can find something new and exciting for the future and push technology forward. I'm very pleased to see that uh, we have uh, connected the uh, people in the value chain of aluminium that uh, doesn't normally talk to each other. I think a lot of good things will come out of that. Real fun to work with him, absolutely. He has a lot of ideas. The good design will come from knowing how it's made and from the reality of things and not from something that comes from our minds. I think it's very exciting to be a part uh, of a project with a designer like with Tom Dixon and with his chair. I suppose that this chair will last for a very long time as will be made of aluminium. I think this is a fantastic project. Cairo is attractive to others because we have the full supply chain and also the full production chain in-house. So we are a fully integrated company starting at bauxite and in the end ending up with the recycling technology and processes. I think these collaborations in some ways are the best because you bring very different skills to the table. From our side we learned a lot from talking to Tom and his team and for us it's important to understand how aluminium can be used by the end user and I also think that we are teaching uh, something to, to Tom and his team. We think that perhaps this can uh, inspire others to come together and do something similar.